Oh my God, it's working. Oh my God, it's a lot of calories. Did you just build an app? I need to eat more healthier. Okay, this is so cool. Today, we're gonna break some rules. Okay, but let's be real. I'm not a developer and I'm not a designer, but today we're going to build some badass looking app that actually makes some money. And I'm doing this today because we have tools that actually do the hard stuff where we are just coming in with a clear idea and a bit of creativity. So today we're gonna use three main apps to build our own app. The first one is called Mobin. Mobin will help us to build great design. The second one is called V0 by Vercel. It's for building and deploying applications with no code. And the third one is ChatGPT. With ChatGPT, we will get clear instructions that we're gonna share to V0. And if you have never built something, I haven't either. So this video is just for people like us. My idea is very simple. It's a calorie tracking app powered by AI. Here's how it works. You take a photo of your food and then the AI estimates the calories. The entire thing should be automated and super helpful because most of the calorie apps are kind of annoying and expensive. First, let's talk about the tools. We're going to use Mobbing. It's a giant library of real app designs and you're going to use it to find the real design and UI. Once we find the right design, we're going to take an image of that design and move it to ChatGPT. In ChatGPT, we will explain what we want to build and share the design for ChatGPT to give us clear prompts. A prompt is just a clear explanation of what we want to build. And that's what V0 takes. It reads, then it builds the app automatically for us. So let's start and open everything we need. Mobbing, ChatGPT, and V0. This is Mobbing application. Mobbing is absolutely brilliant for everything design related. You can find so many different iOS applications, but also web. So as you can see, there are many different applications that you can actually see calories. And I really like that. And I love this because I can see breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's exactly what I want. I think I will go with this one. So let's save this one. We found the design we like for our application. And now in the second step, we need to bring this design to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to give us prompt that will explain our application and also that will explain what kind of design we want of this application. So I wrote in a very simple language that I want to build a calorie tracking app. The flow is that the user takes a photo of their food and then the AI estimates the calories. I also wrote that I'm not a developer and I have never coded before. I'm using Mobbing for design inspiration and V0 to build the app. I'm also adding the app design, so I need a clear prompt for V0 and prompt to generate the UI. Okay, so let's send this to ChatGPT. Now we can take this prompt and share it to V0. One thing I noticed right now is that V0 has something called clone a screenshot. So let's first add the screenshot we have from our app. V0 just took this screenshot and created its own prompt. So it says, please recreate the UI shown in the attached screenshot. So I didn't yet placed my prompt from ChatGPT, but V0 took the example of the design we found and is building it on its own right now, pretty much. Okay, this is pretty exciting. We have something. This is very exciting, actually. I just love the idea that this is something what we call the vibe coding or vibe marketing. But what's cool about V0 is actually he is recognizing what we are doing. And in the left corner, he's giving us suggestions on what is the next step. Now, when I press the plus here, it's showing me take a photo or upload from the gallery. So now if I press upload from the gallery, I can take an English breakfast here and share it. Let's see if it's going to work. I'm actually really excited. Okay, we have gotten our first error. The error says that open AI API key is missing. This is 100% true. I have not added my open AI key. So probably once we press this fix with V0, V0 will ask me to add open AI API key. So let's see what's going to happen. V0 
Busy is saying it fixed the OpenAPI key error by implementing a fallback solution that works without requiring API. This is strange, let's see. Let's try again with our English breakfast. Okay, it's still wrong. Now it's saying it's Caesar salad. Okay, let's ask actually V0. Where can I add OpenAI API key? It gave me two options. One option is to actually add it from our project settings. And then the second option is to update the code to use RealAI. I think we're going to set it up from project settings. So first we need to go to OpenAI. Now that we have logged into OpenAI, we need to go to API section. Once we are in OpenAI API, we can go to dashboard. In the dashboard, we will find API keys. We can create a new API key called calorie app. And then we can create a secret key. Once we copy the API key, we can bring it back to V0. Go to project settings. Then continue here, add. So we're going to call this calorie app and we're going to paste here our API key. Let's save this. Okay, something was wrong. Let's try this one more time. Calorie app and let's add API key. Okay, let's see what we have now. So now that I added my own API key, we just need to test it out pretty much. Take a food photo using the camera, watch the analysts. It should say AI is analyzing your food, check the results. Let's add again our English breakfast. Upload from the gallery. Oh my God, it's working. Oh my God, it's a lot of calories. It's only breakfast. Okay, this is so cool. Did you just build an app? I think we did. I wanna add dinner. And what did I have for dinner? Burger. I need to eat more healthier. Ah, this looks good. Oh my God, it's a cheeseburger. I have zero calories left. Oh, this is really cool. This is actually quite fun. I mean, if you build something similar, please let us know and link your products into comments, but this is super cool. And now the biggest question is how do I get users? Well, launching on Product Hunt, sharing on X, building in public, submitting to sites like Toolfolio. If you don't know where to start, we also have a bunch of how to launch videos, or you can just follow me and Dan on X. So to wrap this video, let me repeat one more time what we did. So we used AI to plan, design and build an app. We did it with no prior coding experience. I've tried to explain every step and we definitely built something together. I guess break the rules and build anyway. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.